<laughs> oh man. Hey guys. What <coughs> is going on? <coughs> it is another weekend uh, AMA, another live stream. I'm actually um, uh, in, if some of you who have been watching for a while might uh, recognize some of the surroundings uh, from when I used to stay at my mom's house. I'm visiting, so you might recognize that mini fridge as well as the armoire. This is, uh, I'm actually, April and I have been sleeping on the floor for the last day or two. Um, so, um, happy holidays to everybody. Um, uh, so, um, came down to visit for Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, nice bed. We're on the floor, <laughs> essentially, on an oversized dog bed. Uh, but it's, pre it's actually pretty comfortable. I've been sleeping really well on it. It's, um, you ever hear those, they were, if you watch Shark Tank, those, like, beanbag chairs that you pull out and, like, a bed folds out, it's pretty comfortable, oddly enough. I saw it and I was like, oh, this is gonna suck, but it's actually really good. Um, but yeah, man, uh, so, um, happy holidays, and, uh, another weekend AMA, as always. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, um, every week we try to do a live stream and AMA so that we can answer your questions to the best of our ability, provide a little bit of mentoring. So I think that's really crucial, and um, more so than that, also, um, you know, help me get better and continue growing. So I usually try and start, start it off with a topic as you guys sort of funnel in here. I don't really have one today. Um, I, to be honest, I, this is probably the longest period of time in the last four years I've gone without writing code. So I've been on vacation for six days now. And, um, um, it's been a, uh, it's been a short minute since I haven't worried about work, since I haven't worried about YouTube, um, since I haven't worried about coding. Um, so, um, I'm ready uh, to get back into things, so I figure I'd do a live stream. Uh, um, so Udemy class is going to do the JavaScript one. I think JavaScript uh, course is a great introduction course, and I highly recommend it. Um, uh, what was that? The best way um, if one can become a good developer, really all you have to really be is dedicated. <clears throat> if you if you can dedicate your time, effort, and energy, um, you can do very well. Um, growing into that beard, yeah, it's no shave November. So this is, uh, I shaved it on the 1st. What are we, like the 25th or something? So it's about 25 days. Um, yeah, April likes doing some facial hair. She says I, I look less like a, a toddler. <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, re really, that's it, though. How's April coming along with Python? Not too well. Um, in all honesty, so she's substitute teaching right now. She's going to go get a teacher credential, get hired there, and then I think she's going to enroll into a master's program uh, for that, that um, to go in the data science uh, direction. I wish I'd just leave the chat up. Should I move from React to Angular? If so, why? I mean, you should learn React, Angular, and Vue, and just be familiar with it. Uh, I had to drop college for my last two semesters, need more tuition. I think it will be a problem to find a job. Yeah, it's going to be harder, definitely. Um, you know, having a college degree does open doors for you and um, will make it easier for you to be interviewed. Absolutely. Um, is it the end-all, be-all? No. But... Most people, if they're in school, don't have time for side projects or they don't have time to continually learn their skills because they have to memorize a whole bunch of shit that doesn't matter <laughs> uh, to pass their test, right? Um, am I doing any other November uh, challenges? No. Uh, this is just a work thing. Um, for the most part, uh, I've just been taking it easy. Uh, video game development, I can't really tell you too much, man. Um, I haven't really messed with video game uh, development, mainly because it's uh, low pay, high stress, and I don't want anything to do with it. I 
I have heard of the no sex November challenge. Um, or no, no ejaculation, uh, November challenge. Um, the no nut November thing. Uh, it's people just like alliteration, I think more than anything else. Um, Um, Angular's good, so, honestly, people think React is easier than Angular, I don't really think so, because Angular uses an object-oriented approach, while React uses a functional approach, I think functional is definitely harder than, uh, object-oriented, but that, that might just be, I'm more familiar with it. I don't know, though. Actually, I like Vue the best out of the three. Uh, David Jang, I don't know. Most people don't have a choice. Uh, <laughs> unless y'all broke, hungry, trying to get your shit together. Ain't no, no one interested in you. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Do I recommend Meteor JS? No. Um, if you're going to build a framework, if you're, excuse me, if you're going to build a project with a framework, there's really only three, React, Angular, and Vue. The reason I say that is because those are the three most common. That's it. Uh, have I worked in Python or I, uh, I did college coursework in Python and I use a library called Pygame that uh, I built a video game with. Uh, Angular React in 2019, again, it should probably just be both. Um, I think both are fine, though. Last I checked, the view in React had the most jobs that we're trying to hire, but there are plenty of jobs in Angular also. How do you comprehend new libraries so quick? I just started React after vanilla JavaScript. For the most part, you'll start realizing that they all have the same stuff, right? So, um, what do frameworks give us, right? They give us ways to manipulate data easy. They give us ways to handle state management. They give us ways to do property binding and um, uh, lifecycle hooks. All that sort of stuff is kind of the same at the end of the day. So what ends up happening is after you build about 50 projects <laughs> and, you know, let me think. I've, I've done jQuery, I've done React, I've done Angular 1, Angular 2. It's all, it all becomes the same. It's just different ways of doing the same shit. Um, how's life though? Life is good, man. Um... Um, got to see a little bit of the family, say hi, show my face. It's been about two, almost two and a half years I've been in Florida and I haven't left. Um, haven't gone back home, so that's nice. Um, you know, we're going to get a, I don't know if I, I said this, but we're going to be getting a puppy when we get back, a female Australian shepherd. So, uh, that's, that's something that's going to be new in the house. Um, how would you go about learning to develop on your own, just building good side projects nonstop. Really coding every day until you have a job. It's that, that simple. As simple as that sounds, right? It's a lot of hard work, but find long-term side projects that you can work on in the short term and go and find the job that you want. If you want to be a front-end engineer, go look at 100, res go 100 job applications to see what they're looking for. Do you think putting something like two years of equivalency and experience is okay even if you just have over a year of experience? 
Uh, I'm trying to make my resume appealing but not dishonest. So what I would focus on is going, spending some time to build some more projects, spending some time to get certifications, volunteer um, partnerships, and building out your resume that way. What do you think is the best way to progress more efficiently and faster as a junior developer? Projects, 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 algorithms, algorithms, algorithms every day. Every day until you have a job. That's it. Can I do an introduction to Node.js? I could, man. I need to focus a little bit more on Node, all, anyhow. Look at the beard. Oh, you guys don't like the beard, man? This is as good as it gets. It's only get fuller than this. Uh, what's wondering if there's something you should add on top of software, com complete software developers career. Two main books I highly recommend every one of you read, and there's links in the description below uh, that you can help me out with. One is Code Complete, which will teach you how to, uh, excuse me, Clean Code. I'm currently reading Code Complete, that's why it's online. Um, but uh, Clean Code, and I also would uh, recommend um, um, The Clean Coder. Uh, one will teach you how to write software professionally, and one will teach you how to be a professional. And I think those are very crucial for anybody, regardless what stage they're at in their career. Uh, do I still think you get uh, value from going to a boot camp? Honestly, it depends on it depends on where you're at. You'll probably get you'll definitely get value. Will you get ten, twenty thousand dollars worth of value? Maybe. I mean. I've always said that you should know how to code before you go into a boot camp. So they're going to make you better. And pro you're probably at a really good spot where you're going to have the tools and resources available to you to go from level one to like level three and, and just keep growing. Neckbeard is dope. Hey, man, that's all I got. It's, supposed to go it's just because I got this at an angle. Don't judge. I shaved that neckline. Uh which is more important for a junior dev, HTML, CSS, or JavaScript? They're all equally important, but JavaScript. Um, yeah, man, so like three weeks ago, I started feeling better. So some of you guys may have noticed that I've been a little burnt out. Uh, now that the house is fully set up and there's nothing to worry about and like we got our furniture, everything's put away, uh, I feel much better. Um, how many front end, so it's not necessarily the amount of, of applications that you have on your resume. Um, it's more so about the quality. So am I 100% self-taught? Uh, that's always an interesting question. So I am a former two time college dropout for a uh, computer science college dropout. So I would say that I didn't really learn to code until I dropped out and just forced myself to dive into it. Um, so I consider myself self-taught, but do with that what you will. Yeah, boy. What's going on? Um, let's see. Hey, guys, Eng English only in the chat so everyone can participate, huh? Would I recommend a boot camp at all? Yeah, of course. Um, I think you can get a lot of value being around trained professionals as well as around other developers. Not only do you get to network and they help you uh, land jobs, but you also get the opportunity to um, continue to learn and grow, right? Just because you know the basic fundamentals of programming language doesn't mean that you actually can write code professionally. That's why it's so important that even after you get that job, you continue to, to mature and continue to grow. Cat braces are off. I've been trying to get teeth whitening for like three weeks, but the, uh, all the places in the mall is apparently closed down. Where are some good meetups in the Florida area? Just look on meetup.com. You'll find some. Am I from Israel? No, I'm not. 
why wouldn't you be able to code professionally if you know the language? Well, it's more so than just the language, right? So let's take front end for example. Um, as a front end developer, you need to be proficient in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, probably a framework like Angular or React and version control, as well as you're probably going to want to be familiar with unit testing. And you're, want to, you're going to want to be familiar with agile fundamentals. You're also going to be want to familiar with pair programming because you're going to be working on a team as well as uh, writing unit tests. And now you need to take all of that and you need to combine it and write code in a fast and efficient manner. So it's it's kind of like the, the, the analogy I always get is a toolbox and tools, right? Um, the thing that separates a $40,000 dev from a six-figure dev is, um, say your, your toolbox has all the tools. That's all the languages, the frameworks, the knowledge, the solid principles, whatever it is that you've gathered over your time of being a developer. And we have this nail. A developer, a quality developer, will get the hammer and hit the nail into the piece of wood. A junior developer or aspiring junior developer will take the entire toolbox and smash the nail down. Um, yeah, you may be able to accomplish the same goal, but there's going to be complications. There's going to be a slower delivery, and there's going to cause issues down the road. That makes sense. That's why it's so important to improve. Um, you know, when you are a junior level or below, all you're trying to do is get the code to run. All you're trying to do is build the objective. When you start being a mid or senior level dev, what you have to do is um, much more than that. You have to build something that's going to be maintainable because most code development is maintenance. And um, every, every, I want to say it's every, I forget the exact stat, but um, you know, code reviews, every one hour of code reviews prevents like 32 hours of production uh, code uh, searching. And then like every bug that makes it into production is like another 40 hours so of work. There's a bunch of random stats on it, but it's a significant effort. And so that's why it's so, it's so important. And that's sort of the, the main distinction. Did you get stuck while learning? Um, how did I get unstuck? Well, a lot of different ways. And yes, I still get stuck, right? Um, um, the main way was I just went and did something else. So if I got stuck on a project, I started doing algorithms and got better. And when you're coding every day, you'll get better in a week. Uh, it's really so crazy. Um, and then I, I did research. I, I Googled search. I, I tried to see other people's solutions to issues and see how they went about that. And, you know, I tried not to spend more than 30 minutes stuck on something. Now, it didn't always happen that way. Um, but sometimes. How do I feel about apprenticeships like launch code? Uh, if you're really just getting going, yeah, I'm not a fan of unpaid internships because they're less likely to hire you, and if they do, they're, they're, um, you're going to get paid less than the average developer. Um, how do I, I work full-time job and it's very tiring mentally, how do I teach myself while still working and I have no energy? A lot of it is, um, stop treating it as a maybe, I guess. Like, uh, I was working 40 plus hours a week at a software company as a business analyst and technical writer, and what I ended up doing was three to four hours a day after work, and uh, more so on the weekends. And I had to eliminate things. I had to eliminate relationships, I had to eliminate friendships, I had to eliminate TV, I had to eliminate everything. And that was the only thing that I did outside of work. And there's days I didn't want to do it, and the, the way to keep it fun was I'd change it up, right? The algorithms to the projects, to the meetups, to the books, to the, you know, the videos, to the whatever. So that would be my advice is just understand this is just part, part of your life, and you got to do it now. You almost have to treat it like the gym. Like, if you've ever been really in shape before, and this will, there's been like maybe two or three times in my life where I've actually been in really good shape, and... There's after about a month, it just becomes a part of your life. And you're like, look, I don't care that I don't want to go to the gym. I don't care that I'm tired. I'm going. I go to the gym at this time every day or, you know, whatever my schedule is. Uh, yeah, UT, you probably can.
it gets very exhausting having to know every single thing. And that's where you guys are kind of wrong. That's one of the things that a lot of junior devs get wrong also is, is if you are planning on learning by memorization as a software engineer, you're never going to make it. What you have to do is learn concepts. And that's why frameworks become so easy because you understand the general concepts that every framework will have. How would you balance being a junior developer and a full-time dev job and attending a full-stack bootcamp at the same time? Um, well, first I'd ask why, if you're working, uh, you'd go to a bootcamp. You go to a bootcamp, yes, you'll get better, but you go to a bootcamp to gain the skills to go get a job. Is there any pressure on you as a de developer to deliver code? Absolutely. Always. <laughs> So, um, how fast are you expected to go to a job? As fast as possible. And if you do it even faster than possible, you're going to want it faster than that. So, um, let's just, it depends. Uh, what are some things you should get in your portfolio front end? You should definitely have some uh, API tools built in there, CRUD tools, and also just a, a long term personal project that makes you be interesting. Oh, you're welcome, Jon Snow. Looking forward to the new season, by the way. What do I think uh, the best resource to begin as a beginner? Um, YouTube, Udemy, Free Code Camp, Code Academy. Um, then start you once you kind of ramp up, start doing some of the algorithm sites. They'll really help you. By the way, some of you guys need to like the video, man. There's 42 of you in here and only 4 likes. I don't appreciate that. You guys can do better than that. I don't know. I'm, I'm just kidding. But if you want, like the video. I think it will help with the uh, the stats. We got Padlo stats, boys. So people know. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I don't give in to peer pressure. We'll see about that. Russ. How do we ban on this phone here? Yes. There we go. Put that boy on. <laughs> time out. Uh, time out. No, uh, um, anyhow, but, uh, Next time, give in to peer pressure, Russ. No. <laughs> what laptop do I use? I don't have a laptop anymore. I use my desktop, man. Um, I got a, a pretty sweet desktop, four 4K monitors, custom-built PC. I got no need for it. Hey, 279 in Canada. I work full-time. How do I get the energy to learn to code? You build it into your schedule, and you eliminate... Um, you eliminate responsibilities where you can. Do you need to go to college to become a good programmer? No. You, you need to work hard and continue to learn after your first programming job to become a good uh, software engineer. That's the uh, number one sort of catch-22. People get their first job and they get real complacent. They never get any better. Um, they never spend any time outside of work to grow. and Because their only job ever was to get that first job. That was the end goal. That was, you know, that was it. And if you want to think of your, your programming career as an RPG, which it kind of is, right? We all start at level one. We don't know anything. We sort of... Find our way. How... Can you believe these calls can come through? I've been trying to block the Red Cross from calling me for so long. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so if you think of it as a, like a, a role-playing game, you start at level one, everyone comes out the room not knowing how to code. Um, maybe by level five you've learned some basic math, you've learned how to think analytically, you understand how to break problems down, and then you start picking up parts. 
And a lot of people, they just want to get that big boss fight. And the same thing goes with, like, a lot of people who get their, their college degrees. They stop progressing after that. And um, they never do any self-taught learning. Um, so, you have to understand, it's like, it's not over after that first boss fight. You're just continuing to grow. Do most programmers want to go into the gaming industry? I think it's like young adults and children. Like the idea is so cool because most of us play video games or have at one time. Um, but the reality of the of the world of what that actually entails is less less attractive. What sites do I recommend to start looking for your first dev job? The two sites I always use are uh, LinkedIn and also um, also um, ZipRecruiter. When did I start coding? Uh, what am I, 31? About 26. That's probably about right. Really about 26, yeah. Um, I've been working professionally in the industry for about four years. As a full-time salary dev, which is quite a big distinction um, for about uh, two and a half. Because web dev the programming path the most jobs, uh, I would say so. Um, would I say CS fifty is a needed course before you start trios? No, but I, I think and I think I actually looked at CS fifty syllabus a while back, and I think it's going to be some uh, very very valuable stuff. Should you put your education on your resume even if you don't have a degree? So. Um, I don't think I do anymore. Uh, I don't have education on my resume at all, but I also have um, several side projects, um, work experience now. I also have certifications, volunteer work, achievements, partnerships. On my thing, I have a partners and, and contract work section with about 15 different software companies that I've partnered up with. So... Um, you know, me putting a high school diploma on my resume isn't going to impress anybody and isn't going to to cause anyone to be interested in me. However, by me not including it, it at least gets a phone call there where I can sell myself and they say, you know, I, I didn't see it on your resume, but do you have a bachelor's or a, a master's or anything like that? No, I don't, but this is what I do have and then kind of sell myself that way. Could I post walkthroughs of advanced code you write? What is advanced code? Um, uh, I built something pretty cool with the uh, Google Maps API the other day, but I don't think I can showcase it. But um, but uh, maybe when it goes live, I'll, I'll share it with you guys. Um, right now, the next few videos that will be, the next four videos are going to be on the solid principles. Um, would a fully functional e-commerce site made from scratch front end fully functional WoW recruiter? Yes. Um, it'd be an excellent side project. It'd be even better if it actually was an e-commerce site, not like a, hey, I built this pseudo e-commerce site. Here's the thing you guys have to understand, is it's one thing to build like a, a duplicate of Snap or like CodePen or something like that, but it's much better and much cooler if you build a project that's actually out there in the wild launched and that people can see and interact with and like, they're like, oh cool, here's this what's what's an example this documentation site where people are actually doing it it's being maintained and it's growing and you know it's making a little bit of money that's a fully you know a full fleshed out thing 
that it's going to be much more attractive to employers. I don't know too much about Python Django. Could I program at IBM or an IBM? I don't know what IBM is, unless you're talking about like the uh, chip producer. Yeah. A ballistic missile? I don't think that's something I'd be interested in even finding out. Um, you're a manual tester, how much time would it take? It takes as much time as it, as it is needed. It really depends on how much effort you put in, man, how quick you pick it up. I mean, if you, so don't worry about being a quote-unquote mean stack developer. Go and look at what the job title is that you want and go and learn that. Uh, did I buy any stuff on Black Friday? Not yet. I'll probably look online and see if there's anything there. Um, I don't really need anything. Um, I've been spending a lot of money, uh, you know, flying out of town and um, buying some, some dinners here or there. Uh, for April and myself, for the family, paying. Um, it's an interesting spot to be in life uh, where you're where you're now treating people like like I don't, like our whole your whole life as as children as young adults you are you know you're going out to dinner. It's no question who's gonna pay, right? It's gonna be your parents, right? It's gonna be you know your family members because you ain't got no money, right? You're twenty. You're figuring your shit out. You're broke. Um, so um, it's interesting to be on the opposite side of the coin where you're like, yo, I got this, and you pull out the card, and and you know, um, sort of comes full circle to a degree. Is front-end development only sufficient for getting web development internships? Uh, I mean, if it's a front-end developer internship, yeah. Um, what is the best beginner language to learn? I think JavaScript's a pretty user-friendly one. It's got some uh, quirky things, but it's something that you can get up and running, and you don't have to worry about like an IDE, you don't have to worry about installing some shit. You can literally open up the browser today and just start typing JavaScript in the console. And there's so much documentation with it. And almost any position that you work with will eventually need a little bit of JavaScript. Um, so... Do I like working with CSS? A lot more than I used to, man. Um, but yeah, CSS is one of those things where as long as I don't have to design it, I can make it look however is needed. I think some kid just fell off his scooter out there. I don't know if you guys can hear him uh, crying his, his eyes out. <laughs> um, did I do any coding these last few days? I haven't done any coding in six days. It's the longest uh, stake of my, of my life. Um, what's up? I'm just hanging out, man. Answering questions. Uh, visiting family for the holidays. What Roblox keep you from learning C-sharp? Uh, not too many. I'm actually going to pick up some more tickets at work. Uh... I'll be building a backend in C Sharp and I think SQL. I haven't fully decided. Um, are there, is there any language that's not easy to use, more difficult? Oh, I'm sure there is. There's uh, various functional languages that are probably a pain in the ass. Uh, you've been recommended to grind through cracking the coding envy on leak code. Uh, is that good advice? It's okay advice. It's not bad advice, yeah. Uh, 
Um, thoughts on machine learning and AI in the field of development? I haven't really been following it too much, but any 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 niche where there's high paying jobs, I'm all for. And both of those is there. Um, am I learning .NET along with C Sharp? Yes. No, I did actually help this year. I um I woke up I wake up pretty early for those of you guys who don't know, and I've I've kept my sleep schedule pretty good to where like normally at home I wake up around 6, uh sometimes 5. So I've I've maintained waking up at 6 or 5 here, some for 4. So I've been waking up around 4, which would put it at like 7 uh Eastern time. Um So um yeah. I miss my cats, though, man. It's funny how, like, you, I feel like I left part of the family at home. Um, have I pair program? Yes, all the time. Um, what are your thoughts and tips? I think it can be beneficial. I don't do it as much as I should, in all honesty. Um, any tips? Yes, um... Get comfortable explaining your code and be willing to change it as, you know, if you're driving or if you're, um, being the, the guidance. I forget the, I always forget the name for the, the other person that's not driving. How many hours of sleep did I get? Eight to nine a day. No, I have a, I have a house sitter. So they're watching the kitties. Should I start applying? Uh, yeah. So here's the thing. It's like your very first job could pay you minimum wage and that'd be enough. The The goal for you is after you get that first job to then go and continue to grow. Got your first hackathon? Dude, there's, I, I love hackathons. It's something I, I wish I did more often, but they're just... They're just... um Most of them are just for like college students. Is applying to top companies hopeless if I don't have referrals now? Um, I've had interviews at Amazon, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, and I haven't had a single referral. Um, do I recommend coding boot camps to get a job? I think they can help you get a job. It's not the only thing. Um, here's the thing, man. Is everybody always needs something different, right? Like, I'll never go back to college unless... A company pays for it and tells me they're going to promote me when I graduate and guarantees it in, like, writing um, with a significant pay increase. This is the only way I'd ever go back. April's probably going to go back to get a master's because that's how she learns, right? And so boot camps are similar. Some people are going to excel. Some people are doing poor. It just, um, it all sort of depends on, on you. Have I thought of doing talks at conferences? I got invited to do one, um... A while back, but I was in Florida, and uh, they couldn't put me up and fly me out. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I'd talk if people wanted to listen. <laughs> Wouldn't I feel awkward as a 31-year-old at Hackathon full of 20-year-old devs? Why do you think it's only 20-year-old devs at Hackathon? Did they ask weird questions at the Google interview? No, they're just normal CS questions and JavaScript questions. How do you land those interviews at top companies if you're self-taught? What are the types of projects you can fill them on the resume? Um, well, um, I, I have some work experience now, right? So, oddly enough, a lot of you guys probably think you have to have 10 years experience working at Google. A lot of their positions are like three years, so I'm, I'm getting pretty close to that. I also have the things that they want. I'm an interesting candidate. I've, I have um, 55,000 or so people that follow me. Uh, on my videos and can see that I'm passionate and I, I'm trying to mentor. Um, I have various other side projects and I'm the type of dev that companies want to hire, right? I enjoy this stuff at work, outside of work. And the developer that they hired at two years experience will not be the de developer they hire at three years experience, four years experience. Uh, yeah, so like college or so like the college hackathons uh, are usually just for college students. 
but the majority of the hackathons that have been in the Tampa area um, seem to be um, of that nature. That's more so what I was saying. Dude, ever since I got laser eye surgery, this eye has been so much lighter than this eye. Um, it always used to be that, but it's much more pronounced than it used to be. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I say it time and time again, that if you're... If you just put in the work, you can get noticed very easily. Do I know how to hack? I don't, uh, no, uh, but I've never put any time into learning. I don't know. I really don't do illegal things. <laughs> Except maybe speed. You ever worry about automation getting rid of a lot of jobs in the tech industry? No. Nah. Um, also, like, um, also, for the automation stuff, none of that stuff's going to happen overnight, and by then I'll have several properties paid off and, you know, making money from real estate. That's my game plan, anyhow, is essentially buy a house every two years. And, uh, or, or, uh, property, I should say, not necessarily a house. This will probably be the last house I buy for a while. And, um, just make money off, money off rentals. Are you at a point where you've done so many videos that you're running out of ideas? No, I typically just do topics on things that I'm learning. I'm a web developer again. Uh, good job, Kevin. <laughs> and that's the thing, is, like, for, for for my channel, it's always been about what I'm learning and what I'm growing on, not necessarily about the channel. What if the property market crashes? Rent The rent market won't crash. I'm not looking to resell anything. Um, people are always going to rent. <laughs> and, like, who has known rent, rent to ever go down? Um, yeah. And, of course, that's not going to be the only way, right? There, I have various other passive income streams, whether that be YouTube, whether that be Udemy, whatever uh, web applications I release down the road. Does web dev employ the most programmers? I mean, I can't speak to any stats on it, but I believe so. Just by the sheer amount of jobs in it. But of any niche, I would think so. Uh, Dylan, is it practical to avoid, avoid learning TypeScript as front-end developer? I mean, I don't know if practical is the right word, but I'd, I'd ask why. Um, you should really get comfortable working with data types because every other programming language other than JavaScript has them, like, as a crucial part of their language, and TypeScript is a way to help you get comfortable with it, and it typically makes your code less buggy. I'd highly recommend you go and, uh, um, con uh, contact them. If Microsoft contacted you for the interview, do you think you nailed this time? Yeah, I think I did pretty good. Um, the fact that they interviewed me with two different teams while I was there was, I think, um, I was probably on the fence of the first team, and they decided to pass. They thought maybe I wasn't perfect for the role, but another team was interested, and I did a second round of interviews that same day. So, um, all I would probably have to do is really just study up a little bit on um, some traditional data structures and algorithms. That's it. I just didn't have time, man. It was like, within a week and a half, I was, they done two, three interviews and flown out to Seattle to be interviewed.
Um, what would your advice be for someone who's not front end developer, not very good at design? There's a difference in not being very good at design. I'm awful at design and not being able to implement designs, meaning like someone hands you a Photoshop file, you can go in and build it out. So if you can't do that, you need to be able to do that. I had an excellent Thanksgiving for the most part. Oh, you guys want to hear something jacked up? I'm going to put my sister on blast right now. So <laughs> my sister just had a baby uh, like five, six weeks ago. And April came down with a cold. We could not go to Thanksgiving dinner at my aunt's house because she didn't want April to be around the baby. I didn't want to make a big deal about it because I'm an adult. But like if she had flown 3,000 miles away, uh, she has flown 3,000 miles to to me, I would have probably stayed at home and let the people who flew into town go see the family. But that's just my opinion. That's just that's just one man's opinion. Um, but uh, anyhow, uh, it is what it is. So uh, uh, I stayed, I stayed uh, with April. My dad wanted me to go over without without April and like sneak over for an hour towards the end I'm like look it ain't happening you know I'm not about to leave her here and go sneak over it's like we both go or none of us go so none of us went um Yeah, so, anyhow. Um, yeah, she's just being psychotic about the, her first kid. That's the gist of it. Um, but, uh... It is what it is. I don't even like babies, so <laughs> I don't care. Um... How far was I into my CS degree before dropping out? I was toward the end of my junior year, about to go into my senior. Between my sister, I'm fine, man. She's just a pain in the ass. <laughs> That's the truth of the matter. Um, are uh, some meta tags add SEO? Yeah, but they they also do other things. Yeah, and then uh, I was going to go to my aunt's house to uh, visit family, my mom's side of the family, but um, that didn't happen. We ended up all going out to dinner because um, my cousins, several of their kids have, like, the flu. And so, like, no one wanted to catch the flu. So uh, that kind of got changed uh, directions as well. Um, but for the most part, it's been very good. Um, What time is it? My favorite video game? Uh, I don't know, man. I, I have I have fond memories of like the old um, RPGs I played on the Super Nintendo back in the day. You know, the Chrono Chrono Trigger, um, Final Fantasy six or three, depending on what system you're looking at. Um, you know. Do you find yourself watching a lot of tutorials or reading up on documentation and learning new concepts, libraries, frameworks? A little bit of everything. Um, Link to the Past is good. I want to say it makes my all-time greats. Um, although there's been some good, to the like, for more recent games that have been awesome, the new God of War is awesome, and Horizon Zero Dawn is awesome also. That's not like RPGs, but those are more action-based games. Do you write any unit tests for your Angular project? Be honest, yeah. My current project has over 900 tests. 
Uh, I do. I'm not only do I write unit tests. I'm actually the um, the head uh, chairman of the test driven development aspect. I write unit tests for everything. Services, pipes, um, components. We have tests for everything. Everything should be tested. Uh, is this the camera angle or have I gained weight? Uh, um, no, I just got a fatter face than you guys are used to. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, it's closer up. Is that better? Does that look more normal? Uh, but also I'm like sitting down as I'm talking to you. It's hard holding up a camera long term, man. John gets tired. I would never get rid of Node for Java. I'm sure Java runs faster, but I've worked in Java, I've worked in Node. I like Node much better. <laughs> I don't have any book recommendations for Ruby, sorry man. Uh, freelancing in Ruby? I mean, you can freelance in any language. I don't know that Ruby's the best one or the worst one. But, um, alright guys. Uh, we've been going a little less than an hour now. It's been, um, it's been a pleasure. I hope everyone has, uh, had a wonderful holiday. I want to thank our uh we got one donation for like three bucks i appreciate that and um i hope you guys have a uh great week i'll uh see you next time bye guys